What's up, guys? How are you? A lot of people from Brazil here today? That's good. Who's playing soccer today? Okay, that's the joke from Brazil. How are you guys? How are you? My name is Rafinha Bastos. I am from Brazil. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, does this guy wax his vagina? And, uh... Yeah, I do. Uh, it's not because I want to. It's because I have to honor my country. Yeah. It's a law in Brazil, actually. It's a law. Yeah. If you don't ask your vagina, the government kills you. So you have to ask your vagina, even if you don't have one. So It's the Brazilian wax. That's a very honorable way for a country to be known. Yeah. Italy is known for its food. Japan, the technology. Brazil, bald pussies. Yeah. I'm actually very proud of it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's us. Yeah, people from Italy, all beautiful. People from Japan, all smart. People from Brazil, all pedophiles. That's good, that's good. That's, uh... Can you guys understand what I'm saying? Like the English is working, it's, it's okay? <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You know, I was, uh, I was a little bit worried that you guys would not understand what I'm saying, but then I saw your president speaking. <laughs> <laughs> then I thought, uh, I think I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I know that a lot of people don't like Donald Trump, but I do like the guy. I have to tell you this, I do like Donald Trump. One people like, yeah. I don't know how he got elected, one people. She was the only one. And, uh, but I like the guy, you know why? Because he gives me hope. For a guy like me coming to this country, he gives me hope. Because every time I look at him, I think the same. If a retard can be president here, I know I can be someone. I know I can be someone. That's, that's hope, man. A friend of mine told me, don't use the, the word retard. I don't speak English. I just memorized those jokes, so I don't speak English. I, he told me, don't use retard, but I couldn't change the word. He told, don't use retard, use uh, Kardashian. That's what he told me. I don't know if you can use, I don't know what it means, but it's like a... And you know what? It's, it has been very difficult for me to speak English. It's not easy, man. Because when I arrived here in America, like uh, three months ago, a cab driver told to me something, uh, Rafinha, you can say whatever you want in America, but please don't use the N-word, or people are going to kick your ass. <laughs> but he never told me what the N-word was. <laughs> so, for the past 90 days, I have been avoiding all words that starts with the letter N. <laughs> which is making my life pretty hard. <laughs> the other day, a gay guy came up to me and said, can I fuck your ass? And I was like, I guess, yeah. 